Calls her good with Eric, doesn't she? Yes. And her gran. I can understand why you don't want her to go. I don't want her going with you, that's all. I know this has been a big shock to you. I don't presume to know how I feel. My mum had a really hard time too. It's I am not your mother and my daughter, sure as hell, isn't anything like you. It's not true. <laughs> you know it. Why would you choose a life like this anyway? Did some man do something to you? No, nothing like that. This is the way that I'm wired. I have no choice in the matter. But Nicole does have a choice and you know it. And that's up to Nicole. Do you love her? Very much. If you mean that, then you should be happy. Let her have the normal life she deserves with the man that she loves. Has Nicole ever told you she loves Mike? Has she ever told you she loves you? See you guys off. We didn't want to overstay our welcome. Oh, you're always welcome here. Alien. How's the house? I got the last of the windows in. Lovely. Yeah, but I don't know about the kitchen. Oh, I think I got the layout all wrong. I might get you and Nick to look at the plans one more time. Sure. Mike's building his own house from scratch. Really? Mike, why don't you help Maya out to the car with her bags? Sure. Wait. I think everything's been said that needs to be said. Can we have a minute alone, please? I'm so sorry. Don't be. Mike is a good man. She doesn't want a smothering her. And look, we don't need a nurse to do a Bucati. So what? You don't want me around cramping your style or something? Well, then what? You and Maya, right? You should have a look at Mike's house after dinner. The windows are in. Yeah, I heard. We can watch the sun go down over the harbour without freezing our tits off. Oh, as long as there's some decent wine on offer. None of that rancid homebrew of yours. It's a date. Yeah, sure is. So thanks for making me do that, Gerald. I'm just sorry you no, had to go. you have got nothing to be sorry about. You did your very best, and I am proud of you. Mm. At least nothing's up in the air now. Just like the Hindenburg. Time for this disaster to go to bed. You sure you're going to be all right here by yourself? Yeah, I'll live. Make sure you give me a call if you need to talk. I will. She babysat the darling, gave us time to catch up. So it's all sorted, you're here to stay? We're very happy. And your mum, how's she? No, well, she'd rather I was back in Tauranga, of course. But she's accepted your decision to be with Maya? Eric's cool with it, he'll help her understand. And Mike? He'll be fine, too. Must be a shock getting dumped for a woman, did he freak out? Why would you think that? Oh, just the other night, you got here so soon after we did. You must have told him and run. <laughs> Well, there was no point in sticking around, was there? Oh, I just thought you'd have so many questions. 
And he knows there's no future for us, so that's all that really matters, don't you think? Oh, definitely. Yeah, just as long as everyone's clear where they stand. See you later, then. Sorry, uh, there was one more thing. Uh, just, you said that you were here to stay. Does that mean you're staying with Maya, or...? We haven't talked about it yet, but no, I'll probably find a flat. I don't want to rush things. Oh, well, it, it's just that I'm in the house on my own now, so I need someone else to move in. I just thought, if you wanted your old room back... Thanks, Gerald. I'd love that. <sighs> Good. Well, well, I will call you and we'll sort out the details. Looking forward to it. <clears throat> it's okay. It can't be helped. You just take care and uh, let me know how you're going. Okay. Bye. Is that Julie? Yeah, she's cut her hand with a knife. Full thickness, apparently. She can't wait this afternoon. Well, you better ring the bureau. Oh, well, no need. Nicole's free, so I'll get her to cover. You can't do that. Why not? She's your girlfriend. She's also a fully trained theatre nurse, and she knows this place inside out, and she's available. What's the problem? It's favouritism. You have to ring Scotty and tear it with him first. He's visiting his brother in prison, if you won't answer. See? Straight to me, sir. No, I am in charge. It's my decision. Well, at least ring the bureau and, and see if they have anyone available. There won't be a patch on Nicole. I'm nabbing her while I can. Maya, it's against procedure. It will be fine. Are you sure this is okay? I haven't even signed an application form yet. I'll square it with Scotty. We can sort the paperwork today. He'll be pleased if use my initiative. Right there. I'll go get changed. Are you working? As of now, covering for Julie. Hmm. Oh, now we need to sort out when you move your stuff in. I was thinking later tonight. What's all this? Uh, Gerald's offered me my old room back. I didn't want to outstay. No welcome at yours, so... You're not. I love having you there. But it's not permanent, though. It could be. Really? If you want it to be. I do if you do. What happened to not rushing things? I didn't want to rush Maya, but... I'm not rushed. I'm happy. <laughs> Me too. Maya, have you heard anything from Scotty this afternoon? No, I tried ringing, but he must still be visiting Ty. Not visiting anymore. They're trapped in there. A riot has broken out. We'll have another bulletin for you as soon as more news comes to hand. Well, that was enlightening. We know that Scotty and Tracy are still in there. It doesn't mean that the prisoners have got them. They didn't say they had full control of the prison. Yeah, that's only because they don't know. Well, Tracy was a cop. She can look after herself. One on one, maybe. She can't defend herself against a whole bunch of vicious psychos. Let's not think the worst. I'll try Scotty on a cell. Hey, I thought I'd cooked in a, any requests. Oh, I can't even think, sorry. Then it'll be a surprise. Later. How can she be thinking about dinner? Have you released some good news, baby? Oh, yes. The prisoners are supposed to be protesting about their conditions. It's not going to help their cause if they heard Scotty and Tracy, is it? She's forgetting that they're a bunch of mindless thugs. But, uh, Nicole... What about her? Well, we're beside herself, and she's thinking about culinary delights. We've still got eight. Yeah. Did she talk to you about how things ended up with her family and Mike? Not yet. All I care about is that she's here. Yeah, it's just odd, you know? I mean, you guys were over and out, one totally doomed relationship. You were crying all the way home, and then suddenly she turns up on your doorstep. It's, it's like... Something went down in Tauranga once we left, and she really should be telling you what it was. Only if she's ready or feels the need. Meanwhile, can't we just enjoy the fact that we're together? We are finally and truly together.